Hello and welcome to another dose of Dr. Owen's Muscle Medicine. In today's video, we'll address the safety claims and concerns surrounding the plant and insect hormone and hugely popular fitness supplement, Turkesterone. Today we'll cover what the evidence says about the safety of the product and what this means as to whether or not you should take it. So, what does the evidence say? Nothing. There are no scientific or medical papers evaluating the risks of adverse effects and side effects of taking turkesterone in humans. PubMed literature search for turkesterone safety comes up with nothing relevant. A Google Scholar search for the same thing brings up only one relevant study, but this is an in vitro study, which is Latin for in glass, and this study examined the effect and safety of turkesterone on mouse muscle cells removed from their body in a test tube. This study therefore fails to address the complexity of the human body and gives us no insight whatsoever as to what the unintended consequences of turkesterone supplementation might be on the various tissues and organs of the body. And that is literally all we have on the subject. Now, this dearth of evidence raises the first of two important issues we need to consider when we're evaluating the safety and effectiveness of newly available products like turkesterone supplements. This is that the absence of proof is not the proof of absence. In other words, just because we don't yet have any data either way as to whether or not a product is safe, that doesn't mean we won't discover something further down the track. For anything that's new, we cannot know what the long-term effect on our health will be. The most tragic examples of this are asbestos and smoking tobacco. For both of these products, at one point in their development and marketing, nobody knew that they caused lung cancer. Now, this might sound like scaremongering and should be set against the context that many other types of household insulation have gone on to be proven not to cause serious illness. But the point is that we cannot know whether something is safe or not until it has undergone rigorous testing, not just in a test tube, but in animals and humans. This lack of robust safety data, either way, is a reason to watch and wait and only buy later if turkesterone is proven to be safe and effective in the future. Now, important point number two is this. We often confuse natural with safe. Turkesterone is often marketed as natural, partly in the hope that consumers will confuse and conflate these two terms. Nature can of course be cute, quaint, and often is safe, but it can also be brutal. For example, it is entirely natural for an antelope to get eaten by a lion, but that obviously doesn't mean it's safe for antelopes and lions to hang out together. Not for the antelope. A more human example of this is drinking water. It's natural for many streams and rivers to contain bugs such as leptospirosis, and giardia. Here we reject natural in favour of safe by running this water through a water purification process before we drink it. This is relevant to turkesterone because at present many turkesterone branded products are not tested for purity and contamination. So that's it. The jury is very much still out and we don't know whether or not turkesterone is safe. It may well be proven to be so in the future, but there is currently no solid evidence either way. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel.